play in the ESL League, so who knows what he's going to be able to bring out of the bag. You. Right, let's go. Fight. After a long break, we are finally back with the next piece of MK action. Oh, Jim gets the first hit. Down Very four. Important. Down four and hit into throw. Jim showing knowledge of that frame data. Very patient. Jim showing some real good patience here. Wow, really, really good pressure from Jim. 1-1 one, one knows that Mitsuwones is going to be blocking because he's plus, so goes for the throw. Oh, Mitsuwones doesn't get a teleport. Oh, and he knows interrupt. Wow, okay. This guy's done his homework on this matchup. Bushy drops the combo, but still has a corner situation. Just look at the amount of meat he's building. Catches an easy jump punch, but Swain's forced to break. Nice, gets the event, and he gets the two frame link. Wow, Jim knows what's up. Where's this guy come from? Holy moly. Wow, just optimum Kung Lao play. In general, Kung Lao play. Oh, oh normal spin. Does try and do a normal spin, though. Does get hit for his trouble. This will be the comeback of comebacks if Mr. Owens gets this. Quite Point blank low minion. Jim, though, really showing us some solid knowledge of what Tempest coming out. Under the two frame link. We've never seen this guy play before, and he's bringing it. Oh, unfortunately, he misses the link. That's not too bad. Using the meter button, hack keeps himself safe. Confirms that time. Nice hit, confirm as well. Oh, does drop the hard knockdown, but Mitsuwon's pressing buttons anyway. After that 4 4 string, Kung Lao is actually plus on block. Not significantly, but he is plus. There's the head minion. Good fuzzy guarding from, uh, from Jim. Oh no, just out of range of that. Mitsuwone's going to get a full combo from this. So, so before Mitsuwone's looks like he has all his B&Bs right now, he is being able to do the uh, new optimal damage, hopefully. Oh, and he gets a nice prediction there on the hat. It's a good low minion, tags him. Oh, 15%, that's not a lot of damage at all, but goes into the restand for the throw. Very popular go-to option for Mitsuwone's. Oh, catches a jump too! Mitsuwone's forced to break, and that will be game for him. Oh, what a read. That was lovely reactions there from Mitsuwone's. The question is, are you going to get caught in this blender? He will! And that will be game. But Jim had so much meter, that's the thing. He had so much meter where even if he sat there and blocked, he was in a bad situation because of Tempest allows meter no. build. And uh, plus frames, he's over plus 20 on that meter burn hat, which pretty much gives him anything for free afterwards on block. But a really solid game from Jim, showing us that he actually understands Tempest Lao. Really solid showing from him, really happy to see it. Um, a very swift game one up. I mean, obviously, you know, we'd have uh, quite a significant amount of downtime there, so we do apologize for that once again, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being patient and sticking with us, although we are straight back into the set. So we've got Jim taking game one over Mitsu Wones. Just that jump in, Mitsu the two frame link the first time he tries it. Oh, hard knockdown, and that is the big damage. That is why Kung Lao players go for that two frame link. And by the way, two frame link, the game runs at 60 frames a second. You have two frames within that second to press 4 4 at the right time to get that to link off the uh, orbiting hat. And that is why it's such a tricky thing, because you have such a tiny little amount of time to actually get that button press. But the max damage is so much more worth it. That's why Kung Lao players go well, for that. You're the looking max at 40% damage. meatless damage if you land it, so it's definitely, definitely worth the effort. Mitsu Owens manages back himself first. Oh, hit. no punish from uh, Mitsu Owens, though. Jim playing very defensively right now. He tries to jump out. He can't quite do that. Another spin. Oh, no punish again from Mitsuwones. The thing is, if I were Jim, I would look at two unpunished spins and think to myself, okay, right, this is no longer a threat. I can just do this whenever I want because he's not going to damage me. And there's a jump in Mitsuwones opts to break. Hatches low. I don't think Jim really expected that low to connect. I think it was more just for pressure purposes. Or he gets caught with the down one. Nice down one there just to get rid of the minion. Good block on the overhead from Mitsuwones though. Oh, catch just run in. Really good read from Jim to read in that overhead minion. Yes, oh, a hard knockdown. Good hard knockdown. Good damage, meterless. And he knows he's going to teleport, but he gets tagged anyway. Wow. wow. Mitsu Owens goes for a throw on the opening hat, hitting him. No doubt Jim expected him to press a button to try and chip him out, but not quite enough. Really good round for Mitsu Owens. Straight hat zoning. Straight hat, a deceivingly good projectile, in all seriousness. And there, catches the 4 4. Big damage. 40% meterless at the power of Kung Lao. And Tawain's opposite can go for the wake up teleport. Just does not work with the orbiting hat is around to get hit behind him. There's a full confirm from Tawain's. No doubt going to leave him standing. What mix it be? Oh, and he gets the low. Good block there from Jim. Not letting him do back three low minion. Oh, he tries to down to the uppercut. Doesn't get it in time. This Jim is already dialing in the attack. Meter burn hat. That could have been the round. Oh, wow. Really good meter build into throw. You just see the amount of chip that Kung Lao forces you to take. Remember, guys, 12 hits on block will build you a bar of meter. So, for Kung Lao, that's one of like the. Uh, I believe the string is 11212. That string on block is building you almost half bar. 
But that's why you see so many Kung Lao's do the uh, uh, the one one two one two string into meter burn orbit hack because you can do that twice and you build so much meter back. You spend two bars at the cost of a bar, and that's especially why when you, see it. you know remember like the orbiting hat itself being blocked is also going to build a bar of um, oh, 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 and he got meter as well. Low minion down with a teleport. I've never seen that before. Absolute nonsense. Get back. Get down here. Scorpion would say. Oh wow! Bits of pressing buttons after meter burn spear. That, I, just, I can't get over that. I've never seen that happen before. It's amazing. Really good down for him to throw once again. Little Wayne's not respecting that option. Oh, and he tries to do a stance change. Must have been a mistake. And here comes that meter build. Oh, and he interrupts it with the down too. Good fuzzy going on the string. Oh, Catches the whip punish. Hit. Caught pressing a button. Doesn't go into the opening hat. Oh, this time he gets it. Will he get the combo? Yes, Little Wayne's builds a breaker in time. Oh, and he goes oh, for wow. that double overhead. No doubt. No doubt Little Wayne's was expecting a single overhead into orbiting hat. Into brutality once again. I mean, I, I just can't get hyped for that brutality anymore. I think we have all, as more Comet players, have seen How that. many times has Mitsu Owens been forced to hear learn from this? Too many times to count. Too many times to count. But I mean, like that was a much, a much better game from Mitsu Owens. I mean, it wasn't one-sided. It was just right at the end. He just got tagged, as Tempest Lao will do. He'll tag you for pressing buttons. But you know, Jim's doing really good Kung Lao play. I mean, this is the first time I've seen this guy play, and he's just come out of nowhere with this really tidy Kung Lao. I mean, obviously, he knows the 1-1, one, one, plus on block, down four, plus on hit, going in for the throws. As soon as the throws are being respected, he's going in for strings. Block confirming into meter burn hat on hit goes into the regular hat into spin. Like this guy knows what he's doing. Mitsu Owens is really gonna. He's actually gone for a costume change. Mitsu Owens for not once is not just using a costume change. He's gone for ninjutsu scorpion. Has he really? He's gone for ninjutsu. Ninjutsu being buffed. Wow. His tool set is the same. It's just that he gets more damage now off those ninjutsu based attacks. Um, I've never seen him use a variation that isn't Inferno before. So we'll have to see how he how he does. I remember one time I saw him using eight. I'm still the daddy, but I think that may have been a little bit better. Opts to start with a 4-2, but does get beat out by Kung Lao's down 4. Again, down 4 and hit into throw. Jim's realised that that option is working time and time again. Oh, no punish on the overhead! That's a full combo punish! There's once again the throw, using the 1-1. Good stuff from Jim. Obviously, there's a lot of respect there, Jim, respecting the option of the wake-up teleport. Obviously, waiting for the down 2 this time. Oh, misses the link, but still gets the plus frames. There's the down 1 from Mitsu Owens. Three. Oh, oh, half a mile right grab. There. That's the pressure that Tempest Lau is going to put on you. Look at the amount of meter that Jim's used, but the amount he's got left. Wow, caught pressing buttons on the wake up. It's always opts to break with no health left. I don't agree with that decision at all. Match point to Jim, though. And Inferno, wow. I can sort of understand it, because Inferno has the long range game. It's got the bigger damage potential with the, uh, the ground minion, but in Ninjutsu, you just do not have that option. It's unfortunate. I mean, we actually have seen Jim drop the 4 4 conversion every other time. Uh, but what is the max damage? What's the damage? And he drops the neutral jump punch. That's very heartbreaking drop. Very uncharacteristic to see Mitsuwones drop a combo, but this might be it. But he manages to grab a throw anyway. Goes in for the down four of his own. And he tags him. And he drops the combo again. Very unfortunate, but gets another forward two. Jim up needs to break. He's confident he can take this round. I mean, the meterless damage the Tempest allows him to get. It's a good call, potentially. But he has no meter to make a comeback with, so it's going to be pure meterless damage. Tags the low! It confirms into a simpler one this time. Mitsu Owens once again opts to break. Down two, really good trade for Mitsu Owens. That jump in trading with a down two, 14% damage in Mitsu favour. He's in the Tempest Blender, but gets a down one anyway. Keeps it together. Mitsu Owens bringing able to claw this one back. Change to Ninjutsu is giving him the uh, just a longer range that he's catching these down fours. The gym oh, and he gets the jump in kick teleport. I mean, that's such a read. That's so risky, but he does get good mileage. Gets the overhead as well. Jim caught sleeping on that one. This could be Mitsu Owens' return. Goes for a down two for damage. Oh, and he oh, walks wow. right into that meter burn spin. Optimal damage, 33%. Good stuff from Jim. Orbiting hat block pressure. Hat is not back. He can't go into the meter burn hat once again. Down two, out of his. Oh, wow. And there's Mitsu Owens once again with the jump kick teleport. And he gets a grab that may potentially kill. And that will take the game for him. Mitsu Owens and Ninjutsu is doing good job for him. I mean, I think it's just the sheer range of his forward, too, you know? When he's in that footsie range, I can't have hats on the floor there. I like that. Um, Scorpion. Totally val valuable information there. But I mean, like, <laughs> the fact that his forward two are back two, like, they're very quick, you know, and they can... Th those kind of occasions where Jim would try and run in and press a string. Uh, a lot of the time, Mitsu Forward two is tuning it up. He would contest that. He contested it with a forward two. Really smart stuff from him. Uh, Jim, I mean, I don't think he's going to change. I think Tempest was working for him. Clearly hey. understands the character and the variations. The so. two games he won were... 
pretty dominant. They were pretty one-sided. However, you know, Mitsuo owns made the, uh, the variation adjustment to Ninjutsu. Newly buffed Ninjutsu has a... I'm not exactly sure of the changes, but I believe he just has a bit more damage across the board. On a lot it's of his, generally uh, his uh, across the board. Every Nearly every Ninjutsu-based move has just got more damage. And the scaling after a back two is no longer as severe as well. Excellent. When you caught a back two, it would scale quite significantly uh, and give you very little damage. That has been changed, so it does less scaling after hitting the back two as well. Looks like, uh, I believe, Jim has opted to just go straight back into yeah, it Yeah, it's a straight again. up rematch. Straight up rematch. Let's go. Mitsuo owns, can still survive. Gets tagged by the low again. There really is no reason to get hit by that. 28% damage. Hard knockdown orbiting hat. Good stuff from Jim. Here blocking. comes that Tempest Blender. Gets to the down one. Once again, Jim respecting the fact that uh, Mitsuo's down two there. Oh wow, he's plus 27 and opts to go for a down four instead. Interesting. He's now going to get tagged by a full combo. Here comes Mitsuo's. Oh, blocks it this time. Goes into the unsafe option. Full punish from Jim. Gets the two frame link as well. This will be big damage if he doesn't drop it. Nice. 36%. Wonderful stuff from a standing one. Remember, that was simply on a punish as well of a spear. 36% for every spear. That's going to add up quick. And then Jim manages to take it to match point. Instant dive again. kick. Instant dive kick there from Jim. Fight. Question is, can he get the combo? Drop. Once again, drops the neutral jump punch. You can tell he's going for some kind of damage there, but just is not getting it. And I guess we've seen Mitsuwons use so much Inferno that he just probably doesn't have the muscle memory that he has a... Uh, and in Ninjutsu. There's always the danger. When you play one variation that much, if you change variation, you have that muscle memory already developed. You know, you're not as Just used to it. kick. Oh, he gets tagged by that low again. There really is no reason to get hit by that low. I mean, he can't go into an overhead option after that. Oh, Mitsuwain's making it worth. Not quite sure. He might just be trying to wait out the hat. Oh, wow! Caught trying to down two in the neutral and he gets blown up for it. But the danger is he was giving up a lot of space. He jumped himself into the corner and now it's going to be really hard. Wow. Oh, he gets that sweet spot on the Miva and teleport. Here comes Mitsuwain's. Just that mix up could take damage territory. Oh, he tried to respect the spin. Gets the end. He cross up down two. Oh, oh too no. early! He did it way too early! The read was there. He tried to react, but he did the Annie uppercut way too early. Mitsuwain's and must have jump in. Must have been predicting a dive kick there. He must have predicted a dive kick. That is the only reason I could see why I do a down two so early. There's nothing worse.